fourth midday about noon and we are back in turkey camp but it's only seth and i basically what we decided to do we have not seen any birds up here on this upper area these open fields nothing i mean we haven't seen a turkey or heard a turkey and those birds that cooper and i got on were down oh seven eight hundred feet below where we're at now there's a valley in there, there's water, and we think that water's the key thing, possibly. And anyway, so what we are doing, we are packing up, and this is our base camp, but we're gonna satellite camp out, backpack back into the brakes this afternoon. I think we've got a route that's 1.6 miles or so to uh, pack back in there, get set up, and we're gonna stay overnight um, backcountry packing. So we are actually just packing up um, of course, we got the usual go-to mountain house, some bars, oatmeal, a few tuna packs, raisins, um, some survival stuff that we carry, and then our hunting gear. So we're leaning down as light as we can go. Um, we're fortunate it's going to be warmer temperatures the next few days. Um, lows in the you know mid to low 40s instead of 30s at night, and. Uh, Anyway, once we get back in there, and hopefully tomorrow morning, we can kind of have some more success and get on these gobblers down low. Hey, there's your, oh, one set and the other set's right there too somewhere. That'll help my, here, what you got? I'm just giving you another. What's that? Is that creepy? Oh, you want me to take that instead of my green one? Yeah. Okay. I will. Yeah, sure. The goose down's nice, but that looks like really yeah, nice. This is because it's wind, it's got some water protection. Yeah, mine's pretty ragged. It's getting some age on it too. Uh, what else? Do the bottom. Wait, hang on, let me check my. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna end this video. We're packing up. I'll probably shoot another video as we uh, get hiking in there. some evening glassing I don't know I guess if we saw a turkey down in there we can hunt till 
30 minutes after light or after sunset so we'll see what we see off there we're basically going to be overlooking the that same bottom fields that cooper shot his turkey in yesterday morning okay so you got the duct tape and just take a little piece of it just a square and this is the good stuff it's not that cheapo junk i mean this is legit duct tape I, I carry a pair of scissors in my first aid kit with me all the time on these on these backpack hunts it's uh it's attached to my backpack so and then what i'm gonna do is so where's the hot spot at so i'm gonna say like is it kind out? of here all like, right so it's the whole toe kind well, of well right probably all there's right, the so main heat on it right now this may not be big enough but essentially what you want to do is it just turns this duct tape into a second skin and because you want that what creates that blister is heat it's friction friction creates the heat and uh, that's what causes that skin to separate from the layers underneath and once it's a blister it's you, it's too late like then you then you got to do all kinds of other stuff and then it, it can really ruin your hunt and especially since it's you know first time out or first little period of hiking out here we're going to try to take care of this before it becomes a blister and then i'll just rub it in to make sure that glue sticks get it kind of hot so the glue sticks really well and you try to squish all the little air bubbles or any, any little of the uh like creases you know that you just don't want something that's going to cause another hot spot in there um and then as we go throughout the day, like tomorrow, you know, tonight and tomorrow, with a load, as he's walking, you know, if it gets to where it's uh, it's hurting him again, or if it comes off, that's the big thing. If the duct tape comes off, stop. Like a lot of guys won't stop; they'll just keep going, and it causes even more problems. So you're better off to stop, refix it up, and then put your pack back on and keep trucking. Is that the only one on your foot or what? Uh, that's the only one on that one. We'll get right. the other one here in a second. Very good. I got about 18. So I need six ounces. I see this is two cups. So that's 16 ounces. It's fine. Just do that. So I Whenever you're good, and then I'll just dump the rest in mine. Well, that's probably close, don't yeah, you? Yeah, whatever. So I can win. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it's rice. It'll... It should be right here. So we're gonna do like our meal plan, mountain house for suppers. Probably get up in the morning and make a couple cups of these uh, instant oatmeals. They're pretty energy dense food. And uh, might even do these for lunch, I don't know. This pack, this pack out wasn't going to be super long, so I threw some oh, wet tuna packs and uh, some lar bars. And then if you like tuna, you can get these little individual tuna packets. Chicken.
do some just glassing, see what we could see, and there's a little field there that angles up. There's some deer in it, and Seth just spotted with his spotting scope. Big old Tom walking right up the middle. Keep an eye on him. That's awesome, man. <laughs> I love it. We're on this big overlook. It's really windy up here tonight. I don't know if you can hear me. Is he still out there? Did you get him? Uh, yeah, I got about 20 seconds. You can see his beard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Seth's got his. Uh, it's not really a phone scope. He left his device back at camp, but he, he just holds it up there. Amateur. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Pros get it done without all the equipment, right? So here, I'm gonna, and, is he, where'd he go in at? That back corner. Oh yeah. Keep waiting on him to fly up. There he is, man. Big old Miriam Tom. And he's by himself, I really like that. Man, I've never spotted him with a scope the night before and then laid out my plan. This is like, you know what? Yeah. This is like hunting everything else out west. Yep. Right, like what well, you got on distance across that field? I haven't looked yet. I'll look. Did you mark it? Uh, no, I haven't yet either. Let me. I'll, I'll start working on it. Hang on. Excited though, he was a big gobbler. You can see his beard through the scope. Mature bird for sure. So hopefully we can get on him. Tomorrow.